Let's set my Scorpio gang. Let's see what's going on in love for y'all this, this hump day, Wednesday. All right, let's just put a little tarot. Let's start with some tarot, then we'll get some clarifiers. Then we'll get some messages and some love oracles, okay? Yes. Chariot, somebody coming in to get they, mm, somebody coming in to get they stuff. Little disclaimer. I do curse, I am loud, I'm sarcastic, and sometimes I do laugh and sing. So if that's not something that interests you, then I totally understand, then this shit just ain't for you, and you know what to do. All right, now that I've given that disclaimer, please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. What is for you is for you. What is not is not. Leave it for whom it belongs to. All right, don't force anything. Tarot is fluid. It could be your past, your present, or your future, okay? And only remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. All right? All right. We got this 12-12 portal opening up, guys. If y'all want some love, y'all better put y'all, um, y'all better do your affirmations. Y'all better meditate and put your dates and, and comments in the comment section so I can put them in a wishing bowl for the 1212 portal, okay? I thank you all for your time and your energy. We're just going to get three cards, then we're going to get some clarifiers. Somebody want love. Six of cups. Six of cups. Looking at love from a distance. Leaving it behind. Somebody's definitely leaving it behind. Higher font. Eight of staffs. The empress. Queen of swords. Seven of cups. The motherfucking wheel of fortune. Mm. I know that's right. And a magician. Somebody is manifesting their ass off and it's coming in. Do you hear me? It is coming in. Ace of coins. Ace of pentacles. Overall energy. Yes. Overall energy. So yeah, I got the six of cups. As your pass. Energy. And your current, you got the four of wands coming in upright. Then you got the, the page of swords coming in in reverse as your future energy. Okay? Let's get some clarifiers, guys. Let's get some clarifiers. My Scorpio gang. My freaks out there. Let's see what's going on, guys. I'm about to get all up in y'all shit. About the channel, guys. I'm about to start channeling. All right. Let's go. Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody got some money coming in. Yes. And the Knight of Pentacles. So you got the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody definitely got some money coming in. Definitely. Or either somebody already making it. Like I said, tarot is fluid. Past, present, and future. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't force that shit. Don't force that shit. Don't force it. Y'all nasty asses thinking about forcing something else. I feel you. Nasty asses. My freakazoids. My scorpions. We love y'all though. Wow. Just like that. I see. 
The Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Excellent motherfucking energy. Scorpio, what? Y'all got everything coming in. Y'all manifesting everything. And it is coming. It is coming. Yes. Yes. Moving fast, too. Coming in on the upright chariot. Pass. Energy. Sitting in your empress. Somebody is pregnant. Somebody is getting pregnant. Either birthing a child or ideas, new ideas. The motherhood, nurturing, fertility, and divine feminine. Somebody is dealing with deceit in their future, but you can always change that. Depends on the empress position. Somebody two-faced and spine and all that shit. And being manipulative, manipulative in your energy. All right? So figure that out. I'm sure y'all don't want to continue with that. All right? Let's just pull a few more. Yep. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Somebody's definitely getting justice in a relationship. Justice. Somebody was treated bad. Treated bad. They had to protect themselves. But guess what's coming in? The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, the ultimate gift of love. Happiness, security, emotional stability, happy home, everything. What they say? Happy wife, happy life. That's right. All after a tower moment. All after a tower moment. But look, legacy, everything. The pentacles are coming in. Awesome. Higher font card with that temperance, Taurus energy. However, y'all do got that will of fortune. That makes changes, cycles, making decisive decisions, luck, unexpected income, unexpected events happening. Like I said, somebody's going to get pregnant. Somebody who's Netflix and they're chilling. We'll definitely be getting pregnant. All right. Just to let you know, guys. All right. Let's get some messages in love. Let's get some messages in love. For my lovers. For my Scorpios. For my Scorpios. Lovers. Who like the love with their body parts, not their hearts. Uh-huh, yeah, I said it. Who gonna check me? Who gonna check me? Yes, I said it. Who like to love with their body parts and not their hearts? Mm-hmm. Scared. Y'all be running from them cups. Y'all be running from that love. I'm fucking with y'all. But y'all do. Y'all yeah, don't like to put that heart into nothing too much. All right. Let's just get some energy. Let's see what you guys got going on in your energy with love. Yep. Something came out. Lots came out. Release. You have the ability to, to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Okay? You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Okay? So whatever you don't want, pass it over to the universe. And the universe will take care of it. Okay? Purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to cons consciously demonstrate love. Absolutely. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. Absolutely. Action. You have the courage to express the unique, loving, 
colors of your soul. The unique and loving colors. Patience, you are able to let the universe energy of transformational move according to its own loving rhythm. Okay. Kindness, you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. Absolutely. Transfer energy to those through kindness and cooperation finally. In the quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. Everybody, no matter who you meet, you meet them for a reason. They come into your life for a reason, all right? They definitely do. All right, let's get some masculine energy on the right, feminine energy on the left. Masculine energy on the right, feminine energy on the left. On my left. My left, feminine. My right, masculine. All right, my Scorpios. Let's see what might be hidden. What might your person want to say to you? Don't wait for me, please. Uh, somebody needs some healing? Maybe sexual healing. Y'all know y'all know how to take care of that. My nasty Scorpios. My nasty Scorpions. I love, love y'all though. Y'all sweet. Good people. I ain't got no complaints. Good people. I know a few Scorpios. Studying signs and energy. You get to know signs and their characteristics. Yeah, pretty good people. No complaints. Yeah, that one wanted to come out. Overall energy, sexual desire. Fire and desire is what I hear by Rick James. Fire and desire. Him and Tina Marie. Yeah. It's dark without you. It's dark without you. Feminine. Mutual. I can't come to you now. So both of y'all asses is stubborn. 1313 when I said it. Stubborn asses. Yes, Scorpios are stubborn. Stubborn. I can't talk to you right now. So... Um, that's for those who are in separation, I'm assuming. So, let's get three more for those who are in union. Okay. It's for those who are in separation. This is for those who are in situationships. And then we're going to do those who are in relationships. That is what Spirit told me. So that is what we're going to do. All right. The spread. It is dark without you. I can't come to you now. I can't talk to you right now. That is for those that are in separation. Okay. The next spread is for those that are in a situation ship, those that are side pieces, and those that are, have unrequited love for their person. Okay? If the feeling ain't mutual, this next spread is for you. Or if you out here just smashing, this next spread is for you. Energy activation. Mm-hmm. Somebody think they are... Um, Energize the bunny. 
somebody thinks they are the Energizer Bunny. I ain't saying nothing else. That's it. Y'all figure that energy out. That's what I heard. Somebody think they're the Energizer Bunny. I got a fine timing. Somebody got some confessions to do. I done said this to y'all before. Y'all still ain't confess yet. Whoever this is in the collective, Scorpios, tell your partner that you out here thingy thingy with somebody else's thingy. All right, that you thingy in with somebody else. Put your thingy in somebody else's thingy. Or that somebody, that you let somebody else put their thingy in your thingy. Whichever way it go, flip and switch the roles. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. 16, 16, as I say that. Divine timing. Everything has a higher purpose. Absolutely. Abundance. An inflow of money, love, or rewards. So somebody, this one, this is this room is for those in situationships. So abundance, you must be getting an abundance of money or rewards because if it, you got somebody else's person I don't know how much you can gain from that so being a side piece so I don't know y'all figure that shit out that's not my energy and I'm not gonna read that that's that negative dark shit divine counterpart however there is a lot of you out here with your divine counterpart who are in union a divine connection sent to you from your angels. Sent from heaven. That's what I'm hearing. Sent from heaven. Now we're going to do one more. We're going to do those who are in union. With your partner. <coughs> Excuse me. These are those who are in union with your partner. All right. Those who are in separation, just be optimistic about the situation, okay? Just give it time. Just know that sexual desire is high. Don't let that trick you either. Don't let that trick you either, Scorpios. Y'all usually do the tricking in the bedroom. My little tricksters. Stop it, stop it. Tricks are for kids, you silly rabbits. Stop it. I'm telling you, I feel it. That sexual desire is high. Only, only because they lonely. They lonely. And they feel lost now, now that you're gone. That ain't your fault. Hmm. That is not your fault. They shouldn't have put anything somewhere they belong. That's not your problem. Not your problem. Know your worth. Step off. Release. Release. Use your discernment. Use your discernment and release it, okay? Damn, right off the break. Leave your fears behind. They are stopping this relationship from blossoming. See? You gotta have patience with yourself. But take those actions in order to get everything on the, in alignment. Take those actions to get everything in alignment. This is for those that are in connection with their person. Somebody is being deceptive also, though. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. Oh, they may not be being the, as lying, but they are not being their true selves. They are holding back their feelings for you. 
someone wants to tell someone they love them instead of just in like they love them gratitude you need to be grateful for the love already present in your life to attract more of it absolutely appreciate the love that you already have 2020 on the timer appreciate the love that you already have and more will come and attract you will attract more see told you magnetic connection you and your partner have one. You and your partner have a magnetic connection. There is a very strong pull and intense intensity that draws you to this person. Yes, very strong. All right, let's get some. Let's get some, a few more love messages, guys. I'm gonna get some time and then close this thing out, okay? My Scorpio gang. My little nasties. I fantasize about you. My fantasy. Somebody is somebody's fantasy. Yes, 2121 on the clock. Somebody fantasizing. Flow a tree. Look at that song out. Flow a tree fantasize. Somebody getting spoiled. Spoiling you. Somebody is getting spoiled. Someone is getting spoiled. Ooh. Mm -mm. Scorpios, are y'all doing a spoiling or somebody spoiling y'all? Put it in the comments. Let me know. I'm nosy. Let me know. Let a girl know. Let a girl know. Let your girl know. Some those in that in, are in separation. This isn't goodbye. Your partner is coming back for you. This is not goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. Twenty-two, twenty-two on the clock. All right. Definitely coming back. Somebody put that thing on them. That walk or that wand. Somebody put it on somebody. And now they can't get enough of it. That's their confession. They are obsessed and addicted. They are obsessed and addicted. They can't help themselves. What? They want it. Those in connection, those who are not in connection, unblock your person. Unblock your person. That's the only way you're going to be able to talk. You want things to flourish and, and blossom. You got to unblock your person. Gotta unblock the person. All right. I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me, literally or energetically, so we can speak. I have a lot to say. Someone has a lot to say. You are mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. You never really know where I stand with you. No one compares. No one compares. All right? That's exactly how they feel about you. Those in connection. No one compares. You are mysterious. That's the one I read to you. Father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to my divine masculine energy within me. And externally so someone is having problems balancing their feminine and masculine energy and when they think about someone they cry tears all right that is that let's just get a little bit more energy feel like home that is for those who are in connection
Somebody been gaslighting. Somebody's been gaslighting. Lying. Because they don't want to tell the truth about their feelings. And let nobody know that they're fancy. fancy. For those in separation, I mean, situationships, somebody's showing off, showing out. They out here doing too much, doing the most in the streets. They belong to the streets. Give them to the streets. Give them back to the streets. All right? Let me go. Let them go. They trying to tell you to let the past go. They trying to tell you to let the past go, so they ghosted you. They ghosted you because you decided to listen to other people's attention. Other people's opinions. Because they was giving other people attention. All right. That's it. I'm not going no further with that energy. All right. Let me get some numbers. And close this reading out for you guys. My Scorpios. My Scorpios. Hope y'all have a nice hump day. My humpers out there. That's what I call my Scorpios. My humpers. Eight, three, three, one, two, 40 and 12. 12, 40, 2, 1, 3, 3, and 8. If any of those numbers resonate with you, this is your reading. I thank you all for allowing me to pull on your energy. I had fun with y'all today, laughing and joking. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. What is for you is for you. What is not is not. Until next time, my Scorpios. My nasty gang, y'all have a good one. Bye.